as, as we're trying to think about, you know, basically it's the, it's the grandparents and the parents, the the the, the middle class millionaires mm-hmm. that you kind of alluded mm-hmm. to. It's it's we have this opportunity to help our children out, our grandchildren out, and, and the biggest gift you can really give them is is education, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, and not everybody wants to go to college. Some kids want to go to my, my niece. She wants to be a, a paramedic, at EMT, firefighter. That's what she wants to do, and you don't need a, a college education for that, right? Um, you know, some kids are into computers, and, and you don't necessarily have to go to school to do computer software anymore. I mean, you could; th- those are things that you can learn. My, my brother-in-law was a computer whiz and never went to college. You know, um, and so, so there are. Things that we as parents and grandparents, we want to do it for our kids, and we want to help them with education, and, and most of us want to help put away money, especially mm-hmm. grandparents. Yep. And so so all the advertising goes around these 529 plans, which, you know, basically the money grows tax-deferred, and if you use it for very, very narrowly defined, very, very specific, I mean, it is really this narrow of a, a, a thing that you can use the 529 for. If you're using it for those things, when you take the money out of the 529 for the use of education purposes, Mm -hmm. the money is not taxable. So none of the growth is taxable and none of the principal is taxable. Well, principal is very rarely taxed anyway. So that, you know, it was taxed before. So, so that sounds like it's good. Well, a couple things happen. One, 529s, any parent who has sent a kid to college, knows that when they apply for student loans, when they apply for aid, when they apply for scholarships, it doesn't matter. You have to fill out these forms called FAFSA forms. And you're doing this yep. with your daughter. Your, kid, yep. your daughter just went off to college. And, and, and so you have to fill out those forms. And when you're filling out the forms, you have to talk about the, these 529. So it, it, it's an account that counts against your child for any benefits that you might otherwise been entitled to, right? So, so that's a strike against it. The second problem is is that it is narrowly defined. It can basically be – you can use the money for these very, very narrow, specific things. So if it turns out your kid, um, you know, comes out of high school – I mean, if they're Kobe Bryant, right? If you have a kid that's going to turn out to be the next Kobe, you know, or, or, or LeBron, you know how much college education they had had to have? Zero. 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 And yet you have all this money set aside in a 529 that can't be used for anything else but a 529. And if you take it out of the 529 and use it for anything else, you get penalized and taxed, right? So that's insane. Imagine if your kid, my niece, she wants to be a firefighter paramedic. You know how much money she's going to spend on going to college? Zero. Zero. And and if her parents have all this money set on 529 plans, that money's stuck. You can't get it out for anything. Now, they've talked over the years that they're going to, you know, change it out and, and let you take it out tax-free and put it in an IRA. But if they do that, that if they say you could take it out without the tax and penalty, that's the IRS giving up revenue. And, and the IRS is not well known for giving up revenue. They really don't like that, right? <laughs> so, so, so if you find yourself now where you, you have a 529 or, or you're thinking about giving, you know, that, that wonderful gift of education for your, your kids or grandkids, Now's the time to pick up the phone and talk to Ryan, myself, on our team. Give us a call at 866-597-1040, 866-597-1040. Yes, we're going to talk to you about income planning and, and making sure that you never run out of money as you go through retirement. We're going to talk to you about the risk you're taking, the fees you're paying, long-term care, estate planning, legacy planning, taxes, obviously. Mm-hmm. We're all about taxes. But our belief is that if there's a dollar sign involved in the decision, the reason why you hire a financial planner in the first place, and, and we're not talking about a stockbroker, we're not talking about an insurance agent, we're not talking about those guys that are transactional, sell you a product, sell you something. That's not what we're talking about. If you want a true financial planning relationship with a, a, a fiduciary, a true planner who understands and looks at more than what do I, am I selling you this week, if you want to have that conversation about what it can look like, how you can help fund those kids' education, those grandkids' education, and doing it in the best way for you and for them, you give us a call at 866-597-1040, 866-597-1040.